is at 60 miles uh, to El Dorado to uh, watch the Edwards County Lions play the El Dorado Eagles. Football here once again on CUN. This game presented by the Citizens National Bank of Albion, Sabre Construction and Operating Company, the Ram Drilling Company at Browns, and by Champion Laboratories of Albion and West Salem. We'll be back with tonight's game right after these commercial messages. Caps are being introduced now to the crowd here tonight. Being introduced first is number 10, Stuart Markman. Next being introduced, number 11, Doug Horton. Number 12, Monty Summers. Number 14, Jeff Gillard for the Edwards County Lions. Number 32, David Herring being introduced. The Edwards County Lions won the tip, uh, toss once again to the coin. Brent King, number 40, being introduced. John Williams, number 53. Number 60, Burt Gothrop. Number 61, Kent Moore. Number 70, Craig Rothrock. And number 75, Curtis Mann. The Edwards County Lions won the toss tonight, so Edwards County has uh, elected to receive in tonight's game, so the El Dorado Eagles will be kicking off to the Edwards County Lions. We're set up on about the 45-yard line, so we'll be about five yards off uh, on our uh, camera location. It's an excellent place to set up a beautiful facility here tonight. Now the El Dorado Eagles will be introduced to the crowd here tonight. Number 23 being introduced, which is uh, Pilkington now being introduced. We don't have a 23 on our roster. Next is Jody Hathaway. Jerry Hathaway being introduced. Gary Hathaway, number 32, being introduced. Number 33, Pollock being introduced. Number 54, Grubbs being introduced. Number 43 being introduced, Goodley. Jones, number 72 being introduced. Hathaway, Darren Hathaway, number 55. Number 75, Darren Burroughs. Number 79, Patton being introduced. So there you have the El Dorado Eagles and a good crowd on hand. Also number 86, Phelps being introduced. A good crowd on hand tonight uh, for the Edwards County Lions and for the El Dorado Eagles as we said it's homecoming here in El Dorado tonight. Bill Horton and Al Summers, my uh, spotters and uh, statisticians for tonight. And uh, this is absolutely a beautiful place for a football game. Wish all the Edwards County fans could, uh, wish all the Edwards County fans could see this location because it is uh, very, very nice. For the Edwards County Lions, looks like number 32, David Herring, along with, it uh, looks like Monty Summers, and it looks like also Stuart Markman back. This game is underway, and Herring with the ball goes straight up the middle, and there's a fumble on the play. The ball's on about the 33-yard line. Loose the tackler. First and 10 for the Edwards County Lions. Ball's on the 33-yard line. This game just underway here in El Dorado. Sit back and enjoy yourself some good football here tonight. So the first play for the Edwards County Lions, Jeff Giller, the quarterback for the Lions. Seems to be in good shape. Hand off in the backfield. I believe that's Markman, number 10. And uh, Markman is nailed for a loss on the play. 
That puts the ball back to about the 26-yard line. It looked like Pollock and Hathaway, the tacklers for the El Dorado Eagles. Second down. Gillard's back. Gillard's going to throw. It's complete. Still on his feet is Doug Horton for the Edwards County Lions. We're not for sure who the tackler was on that play. It was number 23, but we don't have his name. It wasn't on the roster. <laughs> we had a 23, but it was on Edwards County side. So we won't give you that. That's my case. I don't believe he's doing double duty tonight, Bill. First and 10 for the Edwards County Lions. A pitch out to the left side. And they've got that play pretty well read. Brent King, the ball carrier for the Edwards County Lions. Hathaway, Gary Hathaway, the tackler. The ball's inside Edwards County territory. The lights tonight are sort of a blue tint, so uh, the picture uh, will be just a little bit blue tonight, which that throws our color off just a little bit. 10 minutes, 22 seconds left in the first quarter play. Gillard is back. He winds up, throws over the left side, and incomplete. It was intended for King for the Edwards County Lions. <laughs> So that'll bring up a third down for the Lions. The ball's on the 45-yard line. Gillard is back. He's in trouble. Now he's going to throw. Yeah, the pass was deflected. Almost picked up in there by, it looked like, number 86 for uh, El Dorado, which would be Phelps. It was deflected by 86 Phelps. Phelps got a hand up, then got up, shook his head, thought he had it, but he didn't quite. Back to punt Kent Moore for the Edwards County Lions, so the Lions kick off. Moore punts a dandy, but it hooks to the left pretty bad. A slice job, more like... More like Al in my uh, golf game. Pretty heavy slice to the left. So it's El Dorado Eagles ball. Inside their own territory. And we've got a timeout as someone uh, didn't quite uh, get the play right. Hilkington, the uh, quarterback for El Dorado. So El Dorado will go into the huddle. And so will our Edwards County Lions as El Dorado calls timeout. Just a perfect night for a football game tonight. Not too hot, not too cold. It'd be cold if we were outside. However, we are in a good position up here. We're blocked from all the wind and most of the elements except the cold weather or the hot weather. I'm sure this place would get pretty hot in the summertime. But there's not too many football games in the summer, so I guess we're okay. Ten minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter play. Got a man in motion. A handoff goes straight up the middle, and he'll be held, uh, maybe gains a three yards on the plate. Pollock, the uh, tackler, the ball carrier. And... Uh, well, not for sure, Al says potluck. He's going to give it to Curtis Mann. Al and Bill have already devoured a dollar's worth of popcorn here tonight before the game even ever started. Right on back, it's number 23. We'll have to find out his name. He picks up some good yards, gets across in Edwards County territory. Brent King, the tackler, inside. We're going to call it about the... Uh, just inside our 50-yard line, 49 and three-quarters. 
Nine minutes. Left in this game, Pilkington, the quarterback for El Dorado, and Pilkington's looking to throw. Now he's going to get nailed, and there's no place. Now he throws it to number 32, and he'll get out to maybe uh, the line of scrimmage. No, he doesn't make it out there. Hathaway, the ball carrier, Doug Horton, the tackler, and the Lions do a good job. Doug Horton and John Williams, the tacklers. The Lions do a good job containing El Dorado. That brings up a fourth down and about uh, six yards to go. Pilkington back to punt now for El Dorado. Gets off a good punt. And Horton with the ball. Now Horton's going to pick up some few yards, and he goes out of bounds at about the 27-yard uh, line. So it'll be Edwards County first and 10 on their own 27. Grubb, the tackler for El Dorado, along with, uh, okay, number 23 is uh, Shannon Stanley. So you can look for his number tonight. Thank you, Bill. A good job on that. First and ten for the Edwards County Lions. Handoff straight up the middle. Brent King straight up the middle. Number 40 for the Edwards County Lions. And we're looking Pollock, the tackler for El Dorado. Seven minutes, 39 seconds left. This is a good location to set up, really. It's a little uh, cramped. Not too bad, considering I've got to buy supper sometime. Gillard, the quarterback, he's still got it. He's on his feet, takes a pretty hard tackle, gets out uh, close to first down, but about a yard short. Goodly, the tackler for El Dorado. That ball's inside the uh, 30... Uh, five-yard line, call it about the 30, well, just on the other side, you can see. Seven minutes, two seconds left. First quarter play here from El Dorado. Gillard on the quarterback keeper, gets us close to the first down. Now King is nailed in the backfield for a loss. So that'll bring up a fourth down once again. Patton, the ball carrier, a tackler. We got to get our ball carrying and tacklers going here tonight, and everything will be fine. <laughs> Ken Moore back to punt for the Lions once again. Check that Gillard did the punting on that play. Takes a good bounce for the Lions of Edwards County, and uh, they'll down it at the 30-yard line. So it's first and ten now for the Edwards County for the El Dorado Eagles. We can get them straight here on their own 30-yard line. Edwards County did a good job on the first set of downs, holding and uh, gaining about six yards on the play is Gary Hathaway, Curtis Mann, the tackler for the Lions. So that brings up the second down and uh, Gain of five, brings up a second down, five yards. Five minutes, 27 seconds. A handoff up the side to number 32, which is uh, Hathaway, once again, Gary Hathaway. Good gain on the play, Doug Horton, the tackler, first down, El Dorado. Go 
Washington back. There's a fumble on the play. Recovered by number 60, Burt Gothler for the Edwards County Lions. First and 10, Edwards County inside El Dorado territory. Boy, what a play by the Lions on that job. Bill Horton somehow latched onto a chair. Al's decided to stand up now. I notice that they're not using binoculars tonight. Gillard is back. Now Gillard's going to keep it, and he'll be nailed. There was a good face mask on that play, but uh, no penalty flag went down. Be able to see that when they review the films. Jones, the tackler for the El Dorado Eagles. That brings up a second down and about uh, 12 yards to go. 12 or 13, actually. Homecoming here at El Dorado once again. Four minutes, 20 seconds left. Lions seem to be up for this game. Gillard is back, and he is rushed hard, and he'll be nailed. Number 43, Goodley, charged up on that play, nailed Gillard in the backfield. So that's a good loss on that play for the Lions. It's hard to, uh, hard to come back. Stuart Markman comes into the game now. Brings a third down, and we'll call it 21. Third and 21 for our Lions now. Gillard is back. Now he's going to throw. Nope, he's going to run with it, and he'll be nailed. Not much blocking up front tonight. Pollock, the tackler. J.R. Tate comes in. Jason Laws is injured tonight. Got some rough treatment last week. But the Lions are surviving once again. Looks like Gillard's back to punt. Gets off a good punt, but it takes a backward bounce. And it'll be blown dead at the 40-yard line. So it'll be El Dorado ball on the 40-yard line. At least we've not had to move our camera too many uh, different angles tonight because it's uh, been played pretty well right in front of us. Two minutes, 48 seconds left. Is there a penalty on the play? Evidently, there must be as the official talking it over. Maybe there isn't. First and 10, El Dorado. Not for sure what all that was about. Just talking over maybe the homecoming activities. Pilkington hands off straight up the middle, and uh, we're not for sure. We'll have to decipher that crowd as we uh, get out of it. Not for sure who the ball player, uh, the uh, ball carrier was. It looked like Pollock. And Al's going to say it was Brent King who was a tackler for the Edwards County Lions. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. <laughs> Mothers of the ball players wearing mums here tonight. Handoff straight up the middle goes nowhere. Shannon Stanley, the ball carrier, Jeff Gillard, and J.R. Tate, the tacklers. Tate in on defense tonight. He's still suffering from a separated shoulder. Jason Law is seeing very limited action tonight, if any at all. We'll get about six lines that are shaken up uh, as a result of uh, games in the past. So the Lions are playing at uh, a disadvantage in tonight's game. Pilkington back, he's gonna let one go. And it was almost intercepted by Doug Horton. That pass was in, uh, intended for number 84, Loose. Minute 28 left, second of the first quarter play as we enter the second quarter. 
That brings up a fourth down. Fourth down, and El Dorado is going to punt once again back for Edwards County is Doug Horton. Now Doug's going to turn around, go straight up the middle. And Doug, uh, the uh, ball will be uh, blown dead at about the 32-yard uh, line. <laughs> Bill says most of the team for the El Dorado Eagles brought Doug Horton down. Minute 14 left, still in the first quarter's play. This broadcast being presented by Citizens National Bank, Champion Laboratories, Sabre Construction and Operating Company, and Ram Drilling Company. We certainly do appreciate our sponsors for helping uh, sponsor this broadcast on CUN. And we hope that you will too, and we hope that you will patronize our sponsors. Or if it's impossible for you to patronize our sponsors, thank them, please. It certainly does help out. The pass is complete. Check that. No, it's incomplete. Intended for Tate, number 82. Fifty-six seconds left, first quarter play. Here come the Lions. Let's see what we can do on this play. Gillard hands off straight up the middle. There's a penalty. You saw the flag being thrown in front of your screen. Rotramo, the ball carrier, Goodley, the tackler. Penalties against the Edwards County Lions. The official's tall and he takes big steps. Procedure penalty against the Edwards County Lions. Five yard penalty. That brings up a second down and about uh, 15 yards or so. Second and 15. There's the Edwards County Lions, the team in the white. Now we've got a trick play, and it almost worked, but it didn't. Road Trammell couldn't get to the outside in time. Gary Hathaway, the tackler. 29 seconds left. I believe that was what you call the old flea flicker. The flea flicker that flunked. Didn't work. El Dorado picking us up pretty fast there. Now Gillard's back. He's going to unwind. And it's intercepted by Pilkington. Had a little trouble picking that up. Doug Horton, the tackler, intercepted. And that's the end of the uh, first quarter play. No score, uh, no score in this game so far. And this, we'll be back with the second quarter play right after these commercial messages. Here once again, and penalty flags go everywhere. As we open up the second quarter play, not for sure where Bill and Al are going to treat me tonight. Penalty against the Lions of Edwards County. Five-yard penalty. Eleven minutes, 58 seconds left. That's the old duck call there, Al. Gary Hathaway, the ball carrier. Jeff Gillard, the tackler. Second down and about two yards to go. Good crowd on hand here from El Dorado. It's their homecoming here tonight. 
You're just joining us. 11 minutes, 30 seconds in this game. Edwards County Lions, the El Dorado Eagles. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Lions. Recovering that fumble for the Lions, number 82, J.R. Tate. Edwards County showing some confidence in tonight's game. Eleven minutes, 18 seconds left. Edwards County first and ten inside their own territory right now. See what we can do about that. Now a reverse in the backfield. David Herring, he's not going to be able to get out. And he's nailed for a loss. Phelps is happy. Loss of uh, 10 yards on that play. That'll bring the ball back to about the 37-yard uh, line, second down. <laughs> 21 yards. Second down, 21. Gillard, the quarterback. Uh, he's going to throw. It's incomplete. There's a penalty on the play. Pass was intended for number 82, J.R. Tate. Penalty is declined, brings up a third down. Gillard back rolls outside. He's going to have to roll a long way, and he's nailed. Penalty on the play. Penalty flags go everywhere. Gary Hathaway got to him. Now we'll march the other way. For 15 yards, personal foul against El Dorado. Now the ball's on the 40-yard line, so we're picking up some of our yardage here. 10 minutes, 24 seconds left in the second quarter play. Here from El Dorado. As you can hear, pretty festive mood here tonight. Gillard hands straight up the middle to Brent King. Good play by the Edwards County Lions. Gets us out almost to the uh, 40, well, almost the 47 yard line. 46, we'll call it. Loose tackler. Ten minutes to go. Second quarter. <laughs> Gillard lets a dandy go. Takes a good bounce. And it'll be nailed out of bounds. At about the, what is that, the four-yard line? The four-yard line. So El Dorado will have a dandy drive. It might be farther down than that. Let's check it out here. Nine minutes, 39 seconds left in this game. And it's about the, what, the four-yard line? They're going to mark it the four. What a kick. 
Hand off straight up the middle to Halloway. And uh, Al, uh, take a guess on uh, who the tackler was. Jason Law is number 64 we're going to give that to. Didn't think that Jason was supposed to see too much action in tonight's game due to his shoulder separation, but he looks in good shape tonight. So, what the doctors won't know, doesn't know, won't hurt them. And uh, couldn't see much at all. It looked like uh, Shannon Stanley was a ball carrier. Looked like Jeff Gillard and possibility of Curtis Mann on that tackle. A safe bet, Al. <laughs> Eight minutes, 33 seconds left. Third down and a less than a yard to go. And it looked like number 32 had away with the ball once again. Could have been Pollock, number 33. First and 10, they get the first down. We're scoreless here in the second quarter play. Eight minutes, 23 seconds left. This game being presented by Sabre Construction Operating Company and Citizens National Bank. Both of Al been proud sponsors of this program on CUN. In fact, both of them sponsored last year. There's Hathaway to the left side of your screen. Gets out to about the 37-yard line. And tackler on that play for the Edwards County Lions was number 60, Burt Gother. So that's another first down now for El Dorado as El Dorado begins moving the ball here just a little bit. Eight minutes, seven seconds left. Bob Carlton from uh, Mount Carmel, the uh, head official here tonight. And we've got a penalty against El Dorado. Encroachment will be called against El Dorado. So they'll march them back five yards. First down once again. Shannon Stanley, the ball carrier, he takes out, uh, almost took out one of the coaches in tonight's game. <laughs> Monty Summers running Stanley out of bounds. Second down and about uh, five yards to go, maybe four, someplace and through there. Right in front of us now. That's Stanley once again getting out over the 50 and getting a first down for El Dorado. Tackler on that play, number 82, J.R. Tate. First and 10 inside Edwards County Territory. Ball's on about the 40. Eight yard line. Maybe the 47. Jokington back. Hands off the right side. Going nowhere, it looked like was number 32 Hathaway. Now I'll check that 33 uh, Pollock. John Williams, the tackler. Pollock. The ball carrier. Second down. Ball's on about the 44-yard line. Second down. We're going to call it six yards to go. Pilkington hands off. Now he's going to keep the ball, and he's running with it still, and he'll be nailed, it looked like, by number 40, Brent King. There is a penalty on the play. And it's against the Edwards County Lions. Oh, 
Face mask against Edwards County. 15 yard penalty. And there's a fumble on the play, but I believe the official blew it dead. Pollock once again, the ball carrier. Now we're close to El Dorado territory. Jason Law is a tackler. We're inside the 10 yard line. We're gonna call it about the nine yard line. Pilkington takes it to the left side and he's going in for a score. Touchdown, El Dorado. Six minutes, five seconds left in the second quarter play. Touchdown, El Dorado. Extra point was blocked. Number 17 kicking off Watson for El Dorado. So the score here with 6.05 left in the second quarter play is El Dorado 6 in our Edwards County line 0. Back right after these commercial messages. El Dorado back to kick off to the Edwards County Lions. Ball goes to number 32, David Herring. So it'll be first and 10, Edwards County Lions tackle on that play. Brooks, number 50. Five minutes, 59 seconds left. Second quarter play. First and 10, Edwards County. Gillard back, he throws. It's complete to Doug Horton, number 11. Close to a first down, about three yards off. Jody Hathaway, tackler. Five minutes, 19 seconds left. Hand off straight up the middle. It looked like uh, either King or Rotrammel penalty on the play. Jones, a tackler. I'm not for sure who the uh, ball carrier was on that. Al's going to give it to Brent King, number 40. Penalty, it looks like, is against the Lions. They check that against El Dorado. Could have been a late hit. <laughs> Holding. I believe that was a call, wasn't it? Huh? It's kind of a strange call, I suppose, but Gillard back, unleashes one. It's deflected, intended for Doug Horton, number 11, deflected by Shannon Stanley. That brings up a second down. 4.45, second quarter play. Gillard is back. Now he's going to hand off. Running straight up the middle with some great yardage. Who is that, Al? I couldn't see from my angle. Al can't either. <laughs> King.
Stan uh, Shannon Stanley, the tackler. First down, Edwards County Lions. Check that. Third down, Edwards County Lions. Now we're going to have a measurement. Uh, it still looks like it's it's close, but I don't think we've got the dice yet. About two or three fingers, and we'd have it. There you see, it's not very far, about three or four inches. There you can see how close we are to first down. Four minutes, 37 seconds left. Six to nothing the score, El Dorado. Let's see what the Lions can do here. Let's try to get a score here as we go into halftime. That certainly stun the Eagles. Gillard straight up the middle to J.R. Tate. It's complete. First down, Edwards County. Hathaway, I believe, was the tackler on that play. First down, Edwards County. We're inside El Dorado territory at about the 22-yard line. 22-yard line, 427 left in the second quarter play. Good game here on CUN. Play action once again, and I believe that's number 10, Stuart Markman, the ball carrier. Al doesn't have his binoculars with him here tonight. Hathaway, uh, check that, number 54, Grubbs, the tackler. <laughs> Not Steve Grubb. I doubt he made it here tonight. He might be on the other side, though. You never know. Most of the Edwards County fans are freezing over there, and we feel pretty good up here, Al. Not bad at all. Too bad. Yeah, we've got the, quite a fact we don't even have our heavy coats on. And that fooled everyone, including the camera, as Jeff Gillard gets close to another Edwards County first down, but we're about four or five yards off. No, we're about uh, three yards off. Phelps, the tackler. Three minutes, 28 seconds left. We got so wound up because most of the Edwards County fans are in heavy coats and blankets and everything, and here we are up here, uh, not quite in shirt sleeves. We've got a penalty on the play, and it's against the Edwards County Lions. Uh, check that. No, we want timeout. So it's timeout, Edwards County Lions. Timeout, Edwards County. Three minutes, 16 seconds left. Back after these. To once again, Gillard back to throw. And uh, it looks, I uh, can't tell for sure. We'll pick him up here, Doug Horton. First down, Edwards County. Oh, boy, that's inside the five. Let's zoom in here, Bill. We can't tell for sure. Everyone's huddled around the monitor here trying to see... <laughs> Who carries the ball and what because it's uh, pretty close here. Four yard line, first and goal for the Edwards County Lions. Gillard is back, hands off to Brent King. King might have, he touched down Edwards County. Three minutes and seven seconds left. Touchdown the Lions of Edwards County as Brent King took it over for a score. It looked awful close, but we didn't think he got Got it, but he did. So we're tied, six apiece. Let's see if we can break that tie. Kent Moore is back to punt, uh, back to punt, back for the extra point try. Let's see what he does. It's down, it's good. It's good, the Edwards County Lions lead the El Dorado Eagles seven to six with three minutes and seven seconds left. Look at the crowd. Look at them over there. They're ecstatic on the Edwards County Lions side. People are shaking their jugs. They're going wild. Assistant Coach Kraus, Assistant Coach Danny Stevens, El Dorado man 
In fact, he came from El Dorado. Head coach of the Edwards County Lions, John Hart. And the Edwards County Lions, Kent Moore is back to kick off. And I believe that he's finally found that area between those two goalposts. He's been looking for it at the different games, but I believe he's got it. Straight up the middle, a beautiful, beautiful score by Kent Moore for the Edwards County Lions. Brent King ran it in for the sixth. Kent Moore added that extra point, and the Lions lead seven to six because the Lions blocked El Dorado's extra point attempt. He went the night and he went the night. Uh, goes to number three, 23, which is uh, Shannon Stanley. And he brings it back to the 25-yard line. Tackler Brad King for the Lions of Edwards County. So it's first and 10 for El Dorado with three minutes exactly left. And uh, Kent Moore is going to change shoes now. There is number 61. And the Lions lead El Dorado 7 to 6. Stanley once again, the Lions got him. J.R. Tate brings him down for a loss. Back to the 15-yard line, J.R. Tate's wound up. <laughs> J.R. must have had about a gallon of that Gatorade because he is wound for sound tonight. The balls, we're going to spot it on the 17-yard line. Well, clock says it's on the 18-yard line. No, I didn't. I drugged. Second down. Pilkington back. Now he's going to throw. It's a bomb. It's deep. It's almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Doug Horton. Intended for number 86, Phelps. So the Lions are in good shape tonight. Timeout, Edwards County Lions. Two minutes and nine seconds into the second, left in the second quarter play, the Lions of Edwards County lead El Dorado seven to six. Third down and 17 yards to go, Pilkington. It's intercepted, intercepted. Touchdown, Jason Laws, Edwards County Lions. Touchdown, Edwards County. Holy cow. Looky there, we've got the high fives. There you go. <laughs> Coach Hart's out on the field. He picked Jason Laws up and took him five yards or more. So now Kent Moore is going to try it once again. It's now 13 to six Edwards County. Two minutes and three seconds left. Jason Laws intercepts Pilkington's pass. It was intended for Pola Pollock. Is it good? No, it's off to the right side. He's hooked it to the right once again. I suppose that'd be a, it'd be a hook to the right. No, don't. Our golf game's just opposite of what it should be, so we're going to call that a hook to the right, slice to the left. Well, the Lions lead now by a score of 13 to six on an interception by Jason Laws. Two minutes and three seconds left in the second quarter play. And these Edwards County Lions are fired up here tonight. More back to kick off <laughs> for the Lions. Taking it as number 34, and he'll be nailed. Number 34 is Golson. So the Lions lead by a touchdown and an extra point. Ball is on about the 27-yard line. Lions lead 13 to 6 with a minute and 55 left. 
And uh, the official blows his whistle to get some of the Edwards County Lions back away from the sidelines. Number 32, the ball carrier, which is Hathaway, and he'll be nailed by several Edwards County Lions. We got a penalty in the backfield. And the penalty is against the Edwards County Lions as we were too charged up, and I believe we had one too many on the field. There you see the official walking over to get the flag that he threw. And uh, the ball is inside Edwards County territory on the 49-yard line with a minute and 41 in the second quarter play, left in the second quarter play. First and 10. Penalty was declined. Pilkington hands off to number 26, and he's still on his feet. And uh, there's a fumble on the play. Edwards County recovers. Hathaway, the ball carrier, Edwards County recovers right in front of right in front of Coach John Hart. Timeout, Edwards County. Minute 33, Edwards County with the ball and the 13 to 6 lead. Back after this. Over. Edwards County has the ball first and 10 on their own 46 yard line, 47 yard line. Gillard back to throw. Passes incomplete. It was intended for number 11, Doug Horton. A minute and 31 left now. Edwards County going to eat up the clock here a little. Second down, 10 yards to go. Gillard's back, wanting to throw. Now he gets some good pass blocking. Gillard still on his feet, and he'll be nailed for a loss of about uh, four yards on the play. Jones, number 72, uh, tackling uh, Gillard. That'll bring up a uh, third down. Third down, and let's see, about 12, 13 yards. Third, and let's call it 13. Gillard back. Now Gillard hands straight off. Good run. We're back up to about the original yard of uh, scrimmage line. Bri uh, Hathaway, Darren Hathaway, the tackler. We're not sure who the ball carrier was on that play, but uh, was it King or was it uh, Road Travel? King. Fourth down, Gillard back to punt. Gillard kicks a squibbler, but it takes a good Edwards County bounce as it still rolls, rolls, touched it, touched it, and it's Doug Horton takes it in, but they're gonna call it dead. El Dorado touched the ball. First and ten, El Dorado. He touched it. He certainly did touch it. Pilkington. Now we've got a handoff, reverse. Stanley, the ball carrier, and taking him out will be number 60 for the Edwards County Lions. And number 60 for Edwards County is Bert Gothard. We've got three seconds left. Three seconds left. Edwards County Lions ahead 13 to six. 13 to six. And getting him again was Burt Gothard, Jody Hathaway, and that's the end of the second quarter play. Well, the Edwards County Lions, at the end of two quarters of play, lead the, Edward, the El Dorado Eagles by a score of 13 to six. There you see it. 
And we'll be back with the second half of this exciting football game on CUN right after these commercial messages. You well, there you see the Edwards County Lions. The Edwards County Lions own a 13-6 lead going into the second half of tonight's game on CUN. And this broadcast being presented by Ram Drilling Company of Browns. Citizens National Bank of Albion, Sabre Construction and Operating Company, and Champion Laboratories of Albion and West Salem. The Edwards County Lions looking pretty sharp here in the first half of tonight's game as we hold the El Dorado Eagles 13 to 6. We've held the El Dorado Eagles uh, every time, most every time, except one uh, when the El Dorado, of course, scored six points. But uh, the Edwards County Lions, have, uh, their defense tonight has been superb. And uh, what can we say, but the score speaks for itself. Very good score here tonight, 13 to 6. The score here in the Edwards County Lions are just about ready to kick off. There you see Kent Moore getting ready to kick off for the Lions of Edwards County. And we are just about underway. <laughs> Well, we're going to kick it again. As someone crossed the line too early, so Lions get a five-yard penalty. And the Lions get a better one off this time. <clears throat> Goes to number 34, which is Golson. And Golson will be nailed at about the 35, 36 yard line. Brad King, the tackler, number 20. So it'll be first and 10 for El Dorado on the 36, on their own 36 yard line. First down, El Dorado sticks his head up inside of what looked like Gillard and number Hathaway, Gary Hathaway, the ball carrier, looked like Gillard and J.R. Tate on that tackle for the Lions. A second down and a gain of about uh, six inches on that play. Lions defense is tough tonight. Third quarter play, opening minutes of it. And they don't gain much more on that play. They might have gained, uh, well, they gained more. They gained, uh, Gary Hathaway gained about uh, four, three yards on the play. Bring up a uh, third down and about seven yards to go. Third and seven. Stanley, the ball carrier, he gets out and gets a first down, it looks like. Brent King, the tackler for the Lions. First and 10 for El Dorado. Still inside their own territory. Ball's on about the 48-yard line. First and 10, El Dorado. Pilkington, the quarterback. Straight up the middle. Might have gained a couple of yards on the play. Hathaway, the ball carrier, Brent King, the tackler. Jody Hathaway. Second down, eight yards to go. Bring down number 32, Gary Hathaway. 
Brent King, as we said, the tackler. First down, good gain on that play. First down for El Dorado. As Edwards County Lions will have to contain El Dorado now. In the second half, we own a 13 to six lead. That's Pollack, the ball carrier, and he gets inside the 20. And he picks up another first down inside the 20. It's about the 18. Check that, the 19-yard line. <laughs> David Herring, the tackler. Balls at the 19-yard line. Pilkington hands off, and J.R. Tate, the tackler, it looked like to Hathaway once again, number 32. Ball's on about the 16, 17-yard line, someplace and through there. Nine minutes left, third quarter play. Hathaway, and the Lions finally bring him down. A host of Lions on that tackle. That'll bring Laws and Curtis Mann, the tacklers. It brings up a third down and about a yard and a half to go. A brisk wind blowing here tonight. A lot of Edwards County Lion fans are dressed heavily with the blankets and coats and most everything else here tonight. And it looks like they get the first down. And more. Ball's on about the six yard line. First and goal for El Dorado. It's Hathaway once again. Check that Pollock. 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 <laughs> Ball carrier. Tackle Brent King. Brings up a second down. Balls on looks like about the four yard line. Dokington hangs hands off straight up the middle, and it looks like that El Dorado broke through for a touchdown. Well, they'll have to give the extra do the extra point now. The Edwards County Lions own a one point lead, 13 to 12. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left. Third quarter play. <laughs> Touchdown, El Dorado. So now, try for the extra point. And we've got a fake. Pilkington passes, and it's good. It's good. I believe it went to number 84, which would be loose. So now, the El Dorado Eagles own a one-point lead, 14 to 13. There's Coach John Hart and the Edwards County Lions. As Coach Hart pours some enthusiasm into the Edwards County Lions. Seven minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter play. El Dorado number 75 kicking off Burroughs for El Dorado. Herring, the ball carrier. Herring still on his feet, picks up some good yards. 
gets out to the 35-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Edwards County Lions on their own 35. Bolds and loose the tacklers. Dillard back, hands off to Herring. Herring picks up about a yard on that play. Bring up a second down, about nine. Jones, the tackler. Dillard back. He's going to keep the ball. It looked like a mix-up on the plays there. And he'll get back. Uh, Might have gained a couple of more yards. Uh, maybe a yard. Be third down. Let's call it a long six. Third down and about six yards. Dillard's back. He's going to throw. It's complete to J.R. Tate. And Tate's got a first down. Pilkington, the tackler. Tate's got to be, what, two, three inches taller than, than their uh, tallest man, which would probably be 72, which is Jones, looks like. We've got a penalty against uh, El Dorado also. Boy, that's a good one. We'll keep marching down the field. Personal foul against El Dorado. Six minutes and one second in the third quarter. Edwards County Lions are inside El Dorado territory, and we've got a first and 10. Giller's going to hand off to King, and King is nailed. The ball's loose, but his ball is blown dead. Loss of about two yards on that play. That'll bring up a second down. Jones, a tackler, a main tackler on that play. That'll bring up a second down and about 12 yards to go. The score is 13 to 14, or 14 to 13, El Dorado over our Edwards County Lions. Very good game tonight. Very interesting ball game to watch. We hope that you're enjoying yourself watching that game. Gillard's back to throw. It's intercepted by Pilkington. Pilkington's going to go out of bounds inside the Edwards County Lions bench. Brent King nailed Pilkington and threw him out of bounds. So that brings up a first and 10 now for El Dorado inside on their own 42-yard uh, line. Going to say inside the 40-yard line, 42-yard line to be exact. Five minutes, 15 seconds left, 14 to 13 score. El Dorado on top of Edwards County by one point. Pilkington, the quarterback. Pilkington hands off look like to Hathaway. Number 32, and Hathaway was nailed. Curtis Mann, the tackler. Gain of about uh, maybe a yard on that play. Second down, nine. Hathaway, Gary Hathaway is coming off. Field. And we've got a penalty. Flags go up. Five yard penalty. And it'll be counted off against El Dorado. Four minutes, 41 seconds left. Third quarter play. Second down. And it looked like Hathaway, the ball carrier, 
Four minutes, 11 seconds. Brings up a third down and about uh, six, five yards to go. Third and five. Elkington hands off once again, straight up the middle. That's Hathaway. Tackler was Kenny Greathouse. Fourth down and four. Three thirty-seven left. Third quarter. <laughs> El Dorado gets off a good punt. Horton will return for the Lions. Horton will get out to about the 23-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Lions. Wagner grubs the tackler and Hathaway. First and 10 for the Edwards County Lions. Three minutes left. Gillard, hands off, straight up the middle. Brent King. R. Flack and Darren Hathaway, the tacklers. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. Second quarter, Edwards County Lions with the ball. They're behind by one point. Gillard, quick pass is intercepted by Hathaway, Gary Hathaway. Bonnie Summers, the tackler. First and 10, El Dorado. So the El Dorado Eagles will own the football. Pollock. Ball carrier gets out to the 20 of the Edwards County Lions. Two minutes left. Brent King, the tackler. Pilkington. <laughs> Takes the ball. Several Lions try to bring him down. Brent King finally does, and we've got a penalty in the backfield. <laughs> penalty on the play. Looks to be against the El Dorado Eagles. Is the official head official. Carlton from Mount Carmel discusses it with Curtis Mann. Minute 35 left, third quarter play. Beautiful night for a football game here in El Dorado. <laughs> and the official is going to go ahead and discuss it with him. They're still walking. 15 yarder against El Dorado. Clipping against El Dorado. So that brings up a second down. 
Pilkington hands off to Pollock, and the Lions bring him down. Pretty well at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that play. Brings up a third down. Not for sure who the tackler was on that play. <laughs> who are you going to give that to, Al? <laughs> Pick a number, Al. Any number. <laughs> One minute left in the third quarter play. Pick a number, Al, any number. Less than a minute now. Pilkington's back, he's shopping. He's going to look and he's nailed. Nailed by Monty Summers, number 12. So a loss on the play. Al thinks that Monty was in on the play before that too, so we'll say that Monty was a tackler on the play before that one. Al's not for sure, you know, his eyes are beginning to fail him at his uh, frail age of 40, well, 42, Al. Uh. <laughs> so El Dorado is back to punt. They own a one-point lead. Good punt. We drop the ball, and it looks like... a fumble on the play. And it looks like Hathaway recovered it. First and 10 on the 20 yard line for El Dorado. As it looked like Doug Horton couldn't latch onto the ball. 40 seconds left. Hilkington hands off to Jody Hathaway. Hathaway will pull up inside the 15 yard line. 25 seconds left, third quarter play. Curtis Mann, the tackler. Play action, fumble, recovery, Edwards County. Recovering that fumble for the Edwards County Lions if he'll get up. Number 51, Kenny Greathouse for the Edwards County Lions. Seven seconds left. Third quarter play. Lions find themselves down by one, 14 to 13. It's starting to get a little cool up here tonight. And that's the end of the third quarter play where we find the Edwards County Lions down by one point. Edwards County, 13, and the El Dorado Eagles, 14. Back with the fourth quarter right after these commercial messages. As we start the uh, fourth quarter here, the pass is almost intercepted. It was intended for number 32, David Herring. <clears throat> Hathaway back there for El Dorado as we lost contact here momentarily. Back on now, 11 minutes, 55 seconds left in this game. Lions are down by one point, 14 to 13. Very good game, very exciting game tonight. Gillard is back, hands off, and not for sure who carried the ball for the Lions on that play. Could have been number 10, Stuart Markman. I believe it was Stuart Markman, number 10. Patton and Darren Hathaway, the tacklers. We've got a third down and nine yards to go. Homecoming here at El Dorado. Crown of Queen at halftime. Gillard's back to throw. Incomplete. It was intended for J.R. Tate. <clears throat> Shut up, Mariah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gillard back for the Lions after a high punt. It's partially blocked. And there is a penalty. Marker down. Gillard went down hard. So let's see what the penalty is. It looks like it's against Edwards County. Bad break for the Lions. First and ten Edwards County. First and ten El Dorado. Inside the Edwards County line. 20 yard line to about the 17. Pilkington to the right side. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Touchdown, El Dorado. Caught some Lions asleep on that play. So El Dorado leads 20 to 13 now. Extra points, no good. So the score with 10.52 left is 20 to 13, El Dorado. Back right after this. El Dorado back to kick off. 10 minutes, 52 seconds left in the game. Stuart Markman returning the ball for the Lions. Mahoney and Wagner, the tacklers. <laughs> so it's first and 10 Edwards County on their own 30 yard line. <laughs> 20 to 13 the score. off to King and King will maybe get out to the line of scrimmage he didn't lost about two yards Gary Hathaway number 32 tackler Third down, check that second down. The pitch out, it's a fumble on the play, recovered by King for the Lions. And we might have got back to the original line of scrimmage on that play. We're not for sure who was attacker on that play because there's about three of them all there together. So the, the ball is just inside the 30 yard line, about the 30, 31. Check that inside the, uh, t about the 26 yard line. Gillard is back. Gillard's going to throw, it's complete. To number 11, which is Doug Horton. We got Hathaway and Phelps, the tacklers. Eight minutes, 55 seconds left in the game. 20 to 13 is the score. We've got a fourth down and six yards to go. Gillard back to punt. Gets a dandy off this time. That's Stanley. Stanley still on his feet. Now he's going to get taken out by Brent King at about the 35.
Second down, nine yards to go. <laughs> Several Edwards County line tacklers on that play. Inside eight minutes now to go in the game. Pilkington hands off to number 26, which is Jody Hathaway. Penalty on the play. Brent King, the tackler. Clipping against El Dorado. <laughs> Stanley, the ball carrier, J.R. Tate, the tackler. <laughs> <laughs> Pilkington back, looks, he's going to throw, almost intercepted by Brent King. Pass is intended for 86, Phelps. Fourth down. And at least 20, 22 yards, maybe. High snap. And it'll go clear down and bounce around about the six yard line. Six minutes and 56 seconds left. And it looks like we're going to have it. There's a penalty in the black backfield, though. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what this one is. blocker downfield. Check that. Okay, it's too many men on the field. Someone tonight's got a real good uh, count because uh, we've been nailed on that at least twice. Timeout Edwards County with six minutes, 55 seconds left. First and ten for the Lions. And we're not for sure who carried the ball. Looks like Brent King. Jones, the tackler. Flag on the play.
procedure penalty against the Lions. Gillard is back and he's throwing deep. Incomplete intended for Doug Horton. Stanley, Shannon Stanley back there. Second down, 14, 13 yards to go. Gillard's back now, he's gonna run around the right side. And this brings up a third down. Gets down, uh, third down and about nine and a half yards to go. Pollock, the tackler. Inside six minutes left in this game. King tries to make it out, but doesn't. Brings up a fourth down for Edwards County. Gillard back to kick. Kicks a good one. It'll take a bounce and go out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. So to be first and 10, El Dorado on the 45, on their own 45-yard line. Five minutes, 33 seconds left in the game. They've got a seven-point lead over the Edwards County Lions, 20 to 13. Right up the middle was Stanley. Tackler was J.R. Tate for the Lions. Second down. Eight yards. Polk. Pollock. Ball carrier inside Edwards County territory. King and Great House attacklers. Third down and about a yard to go. Ball's on about the 41 yard line. Check that 46 yard line. Get a yard markers mixed up. Four minutes, 19 seconds left. Pilkington, hands off to Paul, uh, Pollock once again. Horton and Gothrop and King on that tackle. First and ten. El Dorado. Hathaway, the ball carrier. Hathaway still on his feet, and he'll be nailed by several Edwards County Lion players. Fumble on the play. Edwards County recovers. That looked like Jason Laws recovering that fumble. And 
Is that Gillard shaking up on the play? Can't tell for sure. Yeah, it is Jeff Gillard shaking up on the play. Might have been Gillard that recovered that fumble. Something must have fell off his helmet or something happened. Anyway, Jeff Gillard's going to walk back on first and 10 Edwards County Lions on their own 30-yard line with 3.42 left in the game. Let's see what the Lions can do now, picking up a fumble. Gillard. And we've got a penalty on the play. the Lions, probably, most probably a clipping penalty. Not for sure, but he that are holding, probably a holding penalty. They'll march it back on the Lions. Down to the 20-yard line. First and 20. Gillard hangs a dandy. It's almost caught by Doug Horton. Shannon Stanley back there for El Dorado. Official can't hang on to the ball either. Three minutes, 26 seconds. Left in this game. Second down, 20 yards. Gillard to J.R. Tate. Tate gets out and gets a first down. Stanley, the tackler. Penalty on the play. And the official is calling for the ball. And the official, Mr. Carlton from Mount Carmel, is discussing with Curtis Mann. Decline, first down Edwards County. First down Edwards County, we're behind by seven, 20 to 13. Ball's inside the 40, it's about the 43 yard line. Three minutes left. King to the right side. Now he's going to cut back in. Host of Eagles on that tackle. against the Lions is declined. Second down, 15 yards to go, procedure penalty. Gillard is back. Throws. 
deflected, intended for number 82, with Hathaway, the tackler. Intended for number 82, J.R. Tate. Two minutes and 49 seconds left in the game. The Lions are down by seven. It's complete to J.R. Tate. J.R. still on his feet. First down, Edwards County. 2.39 left in the game. And the Edwards County Lion fans are on their feet. Jody Hathaway stopping J.R. Tate. And the Lions are inside El Dorado territory at the 49, 48, 48 and a half yard line. Gillard goes straight up the middle. And he's close to another first down. Not quite, doesn't look like, but he's awful close. Phelps, a tackler, number 86. About a half. Boy, not very far there, about a half a yard or so. Second down, Edwards County Lions. Down by seven, a minute 55 left in the game. Gillard, pitch off to King, over. First down. First down, Edwards County. As the Lions begin to move the ball once again. A minute 48 now. Here come the Lions. First and 10, Edwards County. Inside. Now Gillard's in trouble. Gives to King. King gets out. Almost to the line of scrimmage. Well, he picked up about four yards on the play. Be a second down. And a second down, long six. Let's call it seven. Who's the tackler on that play? Jody Hathaway. In about maybe three yards on the play. Be second down and seven. Gillard. Gillard rolls incomplete. Herring was back there for the Lions. Also, J.R. Tate was back. So we're not for sure which one that was intended for. Minute seven seconds left in the game. Edwards County Lions break huddle. J.R. Tate, it's complete. <laughs> He's out to about the 16-yard uh, line. Sh uh, Shannon Stanley, the tackler, and J.R. Tate held his hand up and said, Ref, I've got it. First and 10, Edwards County Lions on El Dorado's 16-yard line were knocking at the door. A one minute and one second left. The Lions are down by seven. We'll be back. Edwards County Lions with the ball. <coughs> Gillard is back. Rolls to the right side. Still on his feet. Going and... He goes out of bounds, close to the 10-yard line. Hathaway, the tackler. Timeout, Edwards County. Fifty seconds left in the game. Edwards County Lions down by seven. We're knocking at the El Dorado's door. And Gillard's got the ball. He's still on his feet. He's going to get knocked out of bounds. Pretty well at the line of scrimmage on that play. Bring up a third down. 
Gary Hathaway, number 32, the tackler. 41 seconds left. 20 to 13 the score. El Dorado on top of the Lions. The ball's on about the 11-yard line of El Dorado. Pretty well-balanced game tonight. Now we've got an option. Gillard with the ball. Check that. That's King. King gets out. That'll bring up a fourth down. Hathaway, the tackler. Fourth down and about two yards to go. 22 seconds left in the game. This is for the marbles. Gillard is back. Gillard throws. Intercepted. By El Dorado with 12 seconds. So El Dorado has held the Edwards County Lions. Pilkington, the quarterback. And Pilkington will fall on the ball now and let the clock wind down. And that's the end of the game where the El Dorado Eagles have defeated our Edwards County Lions by a score of 20 to 13. A very interesting ball game, a very fun ball game to broadcast. On behalf of my helpers and statisticians tonight, Bill Horton and Al Summers, this is Mark Curtis. Stay tuned next for the post-game show. Good night.